Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're already here, hey. So today I've decided that I am going to do a different type of video. I got so, so, so many questions um, outside of YouTube, outside of Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and I figured why not do a video about it. Um, and it's basically about my nails. So these are my nails, and I do currently have a KL polish um, on them. We're gonna go over my nail care, my sort of routine, my nail polish collection, and then um, just little things that I do just to make my nails look really, really pretty. So if you're interested in seeing my nail polish collection, or just wondering what it is that I do, to get my nails this long and this healthy, then grab a snack, grab a bottle of water, and just keep on watching. Okay, first things first, my nail polish collection. I'm actually filming this video at 11.30 at night. I just got home about an hour ago, or about 45 minutes ago, and everybody in my house is sleeping. So I'm trying to be as quiet as possible so I don't wake up the babies, but bear with me. So my nail polish collection. Um, I don't have a really big nail polish collection. To my husband, yes, it's pretty big. To me, it's actually pretty small compared to a lot of nail polish collections that I saw on YouTube. But nonetheless, this is my pretty little collection. So a couple years back when my collection started getting larger, my husband says, um, I asked for a case to put them in because I had them in a little like traveling makeup bag but they were getting it was too many colors so he then um decided to buy me one of these caboodle things that opens up so all of my nail polishes are in there um but i have nail files nail clippers cuticle cutters any nail art stuff anything to do any kind of nail art it's all in here um, yeah, that's pretty much it that's inside there. So, before I show you my whole collection, um, let's go with what I use to keep my nails nice and clean and pretty and all that stuff. I'm really weird about germs on your hands, so I'm constantly, constantly washing my hands and when I wash my hands I wash under my nails and I'm always pushing my cuticle back and cleaning through the cuticle that's my big main thing so what I do do is I condition my cuticle I use this and the name rubbed off it because I use it and look I mean you don't need a lot because it's just going right over your cuticle and then what I do is I kind of massage it in and I put it all over the nail and then I just rinse my hands off and then I go on with my nail polish um, I did start to use this one this was sent to me um, in an Ips no in a boxy charm this was like last month which is the organic infused age defying nail treatment essentials in sweet almond it's cuticle oil by Adesi New York um, I've used it a couple times it's pretty good it's just a cuticle oil so yep i use a cuticle oil always then i don't take biotin i don't take hair skin and nails i don't drink a lot of milk i don't take any vitamins i do eat a lot of vegetables i do eat um some proteins but i don't take any of that other stuff i don't eat garlic i don't rub garlic on them i don't do any of that stuff those little you know do it yourselves or whatever maybe this is just how my nails grow um, this one today broke and I'm really really angry so I did go and stop at Walgreens and buy some nail repair to see if I can salvage this for my vacation if not I might have to cut it and put a tip on it which I really don't like to do because putting fake nails I feel messes my nails up more nonetheless we shall see what's gonna happen now on to this so the three big products that have really really helped and growing out my nails and just keep them really really strong is the nail aid this is the ultra fast growth it says nine times longer on nails 
so I use this when my nails are really really short like this one is like really gonna probably break off like if I have my nails really short I will use this a couple times a week and my nails will start growing really really fast then um, if I'm not putting any nail polish on them then I use the nail aid three minute gel coat and this is 11 times gel power as you can see it's like almost empty I use this a lot because I like to keep my nails nice and hard because I do a lot of um, housework I wash dishes I do laundry I have five boys that live at home you know so I'm always busy and I always could break a nail then the most recent thing that I bought because my gel minute my three minute gel coat was like almost gone i have to go get another one is the nail aid instant steel hardener it says it makes nails 11 times harder and i really like this product a lot like a lot and um i find nail aid at ross stores i don't know if you guys have a ross by you um i'm sure these can probably be found in a walmart maybe or a Riot Aid, Dwayne Reed, CVS. I don't think Walgreens carries it because I was just there and I didn't see that. But um, I will do some research and link it down below if um, I can find out where you can get that aside from like Ross. And then when I am putting on nail polish, um, I do put a base coat. And the base coat that I've been using is the LA, Cur the LA Colors base coat and top coat it says primes and protects nails dries to a high gloss finish that's this one um it's all right i got this at the dollar store because i ran out of my sally hansen one and then i picked up this one la colors nail treatment rapid dry top coat quick drying formula protects nails with perfect shine i tried this a couple times it doesn't really dry rapidly so and again i bought this at the dollar store it was like eh whatever now this one this is the Sally Hansen no chip top coat and as you can see this one's almost gone because this does work I really really love this I put this on all of my nail polishes except KL polish but yes I love the Sally Hansen no chip I actually have to go pick up another bottle so that's my basic essentials of what I put on my nails I always make sure that if I am removing nail polish I usually try to give my nails a day to breathe and then I will go ahead and condition them and put on um, some type of clear coat on top if it's not the three minute gel coat then it's the instant steel hardener and if it's not that then I definitely put the ultra fast growth so that um, my nails grow that's basically what I put on as my base okay so next is um, that's what I do to take care of my nails to help them grow out to just maintain them as best as I can like I said I have two babies that I have to change diapers throughout the day I carry them I am running around playing around with them so my nails do break but I try my best this is like the longest I've had them in maybe a couple of years. I usually cut them by now, but being that I'm going on vacation in a couple of weeks, I wanted to see if I can keep them until then. But on to the collection. So I have a lot of different colors. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, some of my random polishes because I have a little bit of those. And then my larger collection is from the brand Sinful Colors. Um, and I absolutely love their colors I think I have almost every single one of them except for like the newer ones because I kind of been shying away from them because now I have KL polish and I really love KL polish a lot so let's start out with the random brands so I have two China glaze um, nail polishes this is the color recycle and this is the color my sweet lady that and this is like a grayish like a gray with a blue undertone and then this is like a pale pink I've been trying to find this nude color and I can't seem to find it and the closest I got is this color that I have on my hands which is kale polish but um, the next one is called pure ice and this is the color day to night and this is the color all vamped out and I actually got this last, last 
Halloween. I love these. Then I do have a couple of Sally Hansen colors. I have this one is the Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. And this is in the color Bear It All. Like I told you, I was trying to find this really, really pretty nude. But these all seem to have like a milky undertone. And I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for more of a natural undertone. This is Mauve It Over because I'm in love with mauve colors. And then this was a glitter. This is jam-packed. A glitter polish that my son got me. And then I have four mini Essie. This was like in a summer kit that my aunt that my aunt got me. I got these little mini ones. This is the color, excuse me, sir. And then all the wave, which is a really pretty purple blue. And this is Baja Momenti. And this one is on the roadie. And these are like cute little summery colors. Then I have these. Odessi New York colors that I got in my Ipsy bag. This one's Old Cabana Boy. This one's Deception. This one is a Margaret Dabbs London Fabulous Hands and Feet nail polish. And this is in Green De Lily. This one is Bay Bio. This is the color Scarlet. This one is Nail Medic, and this is Keratin and Calcium Infused Nail Polish. It strengthens nails and helps promote nail growth. Huh, I didn't even know that. It doesn't have a color because I guess this formula is to help with your nails. Huh, I'm going to try it out because this came in my Ipsy bag and I just kind of threw it on the side with all my other nail polishes. And then this one is Lacquer Enhanced Color by London Town. This is in the color... Brit of Love. So those are all my random polishes. Then I have these four Art Deco colors and I got these at the dollar store. Um, I got a mint green because these don't have colors. It's just, I mean, these don't have names. These just have, oh well, they do. We got Limon. We've got Silver Glitter. We've got Flamingo. We've got Black, obviously, and White. And these work really good. I got them at the dollar store. So when I want to do nail designs, this is my go-to. Okay, so I have two more random polishes. And this is my Avon Nail Avon Nail Wear Pro Plus. And this is in the color Real Red. This is probably the only red nail polish that I own, and I won't give it away because I love this red. It's just like a really nice bright red. And this is probably like one of the first nail polishes I ever had, so it definitely needs to get thrown out. But I do have a new red polish that I like. But yes, I have this one. And then I do have this Victoria's Secret... Um, shimmer nail polish when they did have nail polishes they sold nail polishes this is in the color just kiss me and it's just really pink pretty pink pink a really pretty pink with like um, silver sh silver shimmers I can't even talk silver shimmers in it so yeah that's my other random nail polish let me take a drink Okay, so on to my bigger collection for now. So I do have a collection of Sinfu Colors Professional Nail Care. And I have 25 colors and two backups. So a total of 27 nail polishes from Sinfu Colors. So I am going to run through these really, really quickly. Um, I basically have the rainbow like right in front of me. So I love pinks. And then I'm going to tell you at the end, after I go through all the colors, what is my two favorite colors out of this entire bunch. Okay. So this one is Beautiful Girl. It's a pretty pale baby pink. 
Then this one is 24 seven, which is a deeper pink. Then you have the color cream pink, which is like a pinky purple kind of color. Let me see if I can shake it up. And this is pearlescent. These are more of um, a satin, like shiny. This is pearlescent. This has like a little bit of pearl in it. You can't really see, see how it like kind of turns different colors. I love this. Then this one is feeling great. This is like a hot pink like magenta then actually that's not that's a hot pink this one is folly and this is like a red pink or pinky red this is a magenta color and this is the color dream on which is this pinky purpley magenta color and then last but not least in this this nice berry toned color which is like a deep red with a purple kind of in it this is, or I should say like a light burgundy. This is Get It On. So that's all of my pinks. Next to my orangey colors. So this one is the color Hazard. And it's like a pale coral. Then you have this color, which is Timbleberry. This is a deep coral. And then you have Cloud Nine which is like I told you that pearlescent cup kind of formula. These are all like that satin regular flat, not flat, but like doesn't have any shimmer and doesn't have any um, uh, pearlescence in it. And this is cloud nine, this is like my orange. Next is my yellows. This is Let's Meet. This is the only yellow that I had until KL Polish. And this is has that shimmery pearlescent, which I'm not really fond of, but I couldn't find a yellow, so I just grabbed this one. Then onto my greens. I don't have very many. So I have the color Innocent, which is a like lime greeny kind of color. Maybe like a pistachio. No, this is lime green, like a lime green color. Then I have this one, which is like a deep color. This is Happy Ending. And this has this is like pearlescent as well. A lot of their um, formula is pearlescent. So that's like a green for like St. Patty's Day. I use that one. Next onto my blues. So my first blue is mint apple. And this is like a nice pearlescent baby blue. Then you have rise and shine, which is a like turquoise color. And then I have Why Not, which is like a sea blue, I want to say, because it's not quite cobalt, because cobalt is like a little deeper, but yeah, I would say like a ocean, maybe ocean blue. Next to my purples. So the first one I have is Starfish, which is like a really pale, like pinky lavender kind of color. I haven't used these in forever. And this one is Tempest, and this is like a lavender, like lilac color. Then I have Amethyst, obviously. It's like a nice deep purple, or just like a regular purple, I should say. No, that's a deep purple. Then I have, this one is Fig, which has like that pearlescence. This is like a burgundy with like a pink in it. So pretty. And then last but not least in my purples, this is High Spirits. And this is like a really deep berry color. It's almost like black, but not. Next is basically my more neutral colors. So I have this color, which is Easy Going. And this is like a really pale, nude like i told you it's like a milky nude it has like a very it's like a light light peach pinky type of i don't know just colors just really really light it's not quite white i don't own a white nail polish which i have to change that and i don't know where i'm gonna get it from but yeah that's this color then i have a black which is called inkwell 
and I got this around Halloween, I think, last year. Then I have a silver. This is called Out of This World. And I really love this color. It has like an accent nail. Oh my God, it's so pretty. And then last but not least, Vacation Time, which is like a brownie, nudie type of color. It's not quite mauve because there's no pink in it, but it's not quite brown. It's like a nude, basically. Like almost like a nude you'd wear on your lips. But yeah, and then that's it. So that is my Sinful Colors Professional Nail Care Collection. That's basically the bulk of my nail polish for now. Now, out of all of those nail polishes, I'm going to show you the three most used nail polishes. Okay, so the most loved nail polish out of here is Beautiful Girl, which is this really pretty, like I told you, pastel baby pink. I love pink. Pink is my favorite color. The next one is Hazard, which is this pale coral color. I am obsessed with this color. This is the one that I have two backups for because when I put this on, it makes me look like I have a tan. It's beautiful. Everyone compliments me on this color. I'm obsessed. I love, 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 love this color. And then the last one is Feeling Great, which is that hot pink color. I tell you, I love pink. Those are the three most loved nail polishes in that collection. The other ones I do use, but just around different holidays, when my feelings are, you know, in changing colors, but those are like my three staple colors that I kind of use all the time. Okay, if you guys are still here, you are amazing and I appreciate it and I love you. I know this is a hella long video, but I really wanted to do it. But yeah, and I believe that's it. That completes this video. And aside from all that, I use regular nail polish remover. I mean, I use the Walmart brand. There's no other conditioning. Um, I use cotton rounds to take it off. Like I said, I give my day, my, I give my nails a day, um, in between polishes just to give it like a breather. But other than that, that's it. And that completes this video. If you enjoyed hanging out with me and seeing my nail polish collection, finding out what I do to grow out my nails and keep them nice and healthy and just that, please like this video and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel before you leave please and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload videos I upload videos three times a week Mondays Thursdays and Saturdays usually one of them is a vlog I've been kind of slacking but it is what it is and yeah thank you so much for watching thanks for hanging thanks for listening and the support um, if you have any comments any other ideas anything you want to see me do then please please comment down below. I did get all of my Sinful Colors um, nail polishes at Walgreens and Walmart. Um, and then, and Target for like my Sally Hansen stuff and Essie. And then the rest, like I told you, Dollar Tree and then my Ipsy bag sent me a lot of nail polishes. So yeah, everything will be linked in the description box. And I will see you beauties all in my next video. Bye.